Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I want to talk about the enhancements that were added to BES4 with the addition of the Power Pack 2. The Power Pack is an add-on that you have to purchase separately from your brother dealer. It's an activation code where you need internet access, but it adds a lot of features to your BES4 software. I happen to own both Power Pack 1 and Power Pack 2. Those people who use cutting machines, including the Scan and Cut, Cricut, and Silhouette, are going to like what's included in this package. This is a quick overview of, the, of what has been added to the menu. I will have separate videos showing you everything. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is we'll go to the Paste Setter menu and we'll choose Import. You'll notice Import True Type Artwork. This allows you to import fonts directly from your computer to create artwork for your machine. The next thing you'll see is Import Artwork beneath that and you'll see the formats that you can use. This includes FCM files, SVG, AutoCAD, Illustrator, and even Metafiles. Continuing, if you go to export, you'll see you can export to SVG. If you're like me and you own a digital cutter that's something other than the Scan and Cut, and by the way, I do own a Scan and Cut, but it's not the newest one, you can export SVG files. This is a boon for somebody who owns either a Cricut machine or a Silhouette. The last thing that was added, if you go to Save As, you'll see that there are some new formats. I won't go through all those formats here, but I see several that I don't believe were included in the earlier versions of the software. Now let's look at some of the other features. We'll go to the Add Design. And you'll notice in the Add Design Library that there are new categories including artwork cut designs, logos, and shapes. With this add-on, you are getting 175 plus built-in artwork designs. This is 50 artwork designs, 72 logo text, I call that word art, 54 shapes, and monogram designer for artwork which allows you to use these images or shapes to send directly to your cutting machine. You simply drag them on the screen and you have that shape. It's just like importing another design. The next thing you'll see is the cutting mat. The cutting mat includes the cutting mat for Brother Machines, Cricut Machines, and the Silhouette. So you'll see three for Brother, you'll see Cricut has the two that it has, and the nice thing about this is you have the ability to see whether everything that you have on your screen is going to fit within that map. The next features that were added are on the Arrange tab. We'll select something so that we can see it. So we'll go to Range, and you'll see several tools. We'll talk about Transform Artwork first, because Transform Artwork includes Weld, Divide, Remove Overlap, Minus Front, Boundary, Clip, Crop, and Knockout. And that's a real plus for those people who are working with artwork, and particularly with that Knockout tool. You'll also see you have the ability to combine, Offset, which creates lines around your artwork. You have alignment tools. Right now, some of these are grayed out because I'm clicked on the transform tool. And you have the layering alignment tool. The layering alignment tool allows you to create registration marks. So for this little elephant that I have on the screen, I would definitely want to have registration marks to line up all the different layers. You can separate your layers, flip and rotate. And let's click off of that and let's look at the Power Pack 2 here. 
Actually, let me just select that artwork. And now let's look at the distortion tools. With the distortion tools, I can distort any object. And I have several different options to choose from. If we go to the tools menu next, you'll see we have the ability to, to arrange on path, on circle, or on corners, row, or scatter. We also have some new tools that are added, including the auto image trace tools. The auto image trace tools allow us to select a bitmap image in these formats and to take that image and open it directly into our software and we will be able to transform this so it is artwork we can use for our cutting machines. I'll choose cancel. While I have power pack selected, let's look over here at our artwork tab. You'll notice in the artwork tab that you can select from cutting and drawing, cutting or drawing only. So if I chose cutting and I applied it, I now can ap I have applied cut lines to this that I can either export to my SCM file format directly to my scan and cut or save it as an SVG file. We have other artwork tools included, including some tools, pen, line, bezier, curve, and arc. With pen, you could write your name or something else if you're good enough now, or you can use some of these other tools to draw new shapes. You'll also see that you have the ability to use some of the edit tools here, and you see some new ones, including rhinestone. Now, rhinestone is something, if you own a scan and cut machine, you can buy upgrades or enhancements to it. And I happen to own rhinestone for the scan and cut. This adds the same features that you see, including being able to add single, singular rhinestones. You can input rhinestones in a line around a design, or you can fill a shape with rhinestones. I hope this has given you a little idea about what's included with the Power Pack 2. If you want this, please go see your dealer and have them show you what's included. I will be recording a video to show you which items have been added as part of this power pack. And I appreciate your time today. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you.